Irish American abstract artist Sean Scully is exhibiting more than 100 of his works for the first time in Shanghai. The 70-year-old artist divides his time among New York, Barcelona, and Munich, and says his work is inspired by his life in different places. And some abstract artists who have lived and worked in Shanghai say their inspiration is much the same, and they talk about their experiences with reporter Chen Bing in this edition of Expa Extra. These images are some of the recent work of French-born photographer Bertrand Stark, who has been living here for about ten years. When you live in a place like、uh, Shanghai, you're always, <laughs> you know, looking for nature one way or another, and the、uh, flowers are part of it. A water-soluble raincoat. At the Shanghai Himalayas Museum in Pudong, Stark met one of his role models. Sean Scully says he too was inspired by Shanghai and presented a sculpture especially for his exhibition here. Pretty much inspired by by your work. I I called it China piled up as an homage to China, and to the kind of the kind of beautiful expanding ordered chaos of China, or as I imagine it. It's an organic. Geometry that's growing, so this was kind of a portrait of that. Scully says most of his work is based on his own experiences. He did his painting called Backs and Fronts in New York. Each panel is painted differently and is a different size. And New York is very aggressive, rather inhuman. It's a cruel city, based on competitiveness. And that painting reflects somehow the violence of it—the violence of these relationships that are smashed together. Stark talked with Scully about his sense that all big cities around the globe are becoming similar due to their fast development and commercialization. The Shanghai, ten years ago, had a, a very、uh, clear and、uh, different identity, and now it's. Converging a little bit towards something more,、uh, I would call mainstream. So all this, all these big cities, wherever you are in the world,、uh, they they tend to、uh, look alike more and more. And this is something that I find、uh, a bit disappointing. Do you guys know what the lotus flower is?、Mm, something that、yes. grows in a pond. Yeah, it grows in a pond. But some artists can still draw inspiration from remote parts of big cities. Brian Reed lived here for three years. He created a visual story between lotus flowers and lobsters after living in the Zhujiajia water town on Shanghai's outskirts.、Uh, kind of like they represent a force of yin and yang. The long sha, the lobster, is on the bottom of the dirty water. It eats the the dirty things. The lotus also is in the dirty water, but it rises out. It tries to be more pure. So it creates a, an opposite force and. My examination of culture, and life, and experience、uh, was kind of between this idea,、uh, these two ideas, and these two forces. A fresh set of eyes. What I do is I identify what's special to me about the area, the culture, and I I take that idea and I create something with my hands, with paintbrush,、uh, through sculpture, installation, painting, and I think Sean Scully also is doing the same thing. My ambition is to communicate, and to be communicated with. I want a dialogue going both directions, not to show something, but to show and learn. Scully's exhibition runs through January 25th with an admission price of 50 yuan. Chen Bing, Shanghai Life.